Hi, let's solve one previous question of intermediate code generation compiler. This question was asked in CAT CS 2015 set 2 question number 14. In the context of abstract industry AST and control flow graph CFG, which one of the following is true? In four option, four statements are given and it is asking which one of the following is true. Let me analyze one by one option. Option A, in both AST and contest free graph, let node N2 be the successor of node N1. In the input program, the code corresponding to N2 is present after the code corresponding to N1. What it is saying, let this is one node N1, this is another node N2, N2 is the successor of N1. Then code of N2 present after code of N1 in the input program. In control flow graph, there is a possibility of cycle and jump. If N1 node contain a jump to N2 node, then N2 will be N1 successor. But N2 code is written before N1, not after N1. So it is not always true. This is false. In control flow graph, code of N2 may be present before N1 when there is a loop or jump. So option A is false. Next check option B. For any input program, neither AST nor CFG will contain cycle. There can be cycle possible in CFG. So option B is wrong. There may be conditional or unconditional jump that will form a cycle. So option B is wrong. Next option C, the maximum number of successor of a node in an AST and control flow graph depends on the input program. Yes, this is true. Option D, each node in AST and control flow graph corresponding to at most one statement in the input program. This is false. In control flow graph, one block may contain more than one statement. We found option A, option B, option D are false while option C is true. So answer will be option C. Actually maximum statement are written according to AST but not according to CFG. But it is written for both that's why it is false. If this lecture is helpful for you please like and subscribe. Thank you.